Your morning news now. Russia's President Vladimir Putin has ordered his nuclear forces on high alert and Russian troops are pushing closer to Ukraine's capital city, Kyiv. Russia has claimed its troops are only targeting Ukrainian military facilities, but Ukrainian officials say civilians have been killed. Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky has agreed to meet with a Russian delegation for peace talks. The United Nations Security Council has voted to hold an emergency session of the 193-member General Assembly today on the invasion of Ukraine. The UN reports nearly 400,000 people have fled Ukraine, most of them women and children. U.S. officials are urging American citizens in Russia to think about leaving the country immediately. Sunday, the European Union and Canada closed their airspace to Russian airlines. Aviation experts say the U.S. is under the pressure to do the same. Partly cloudy skies today with high temperatures around 52. Very mild out there. Southwest winds light at 5 to 10. President Joe Biden travels to Wisconsin this week, the day after delivering his State of the Union speech. According to the White House, the president and the first lady will stop in Superior on Wednesday to discuss the impact of the infrastructure law on the state's roads and bridges. He signed the sweeping infrastructure package into law in November in the most significant legislative victory of his presidency so far. The Wisconsin Assembly has approved funding for a new youth prison. The measure would allow the state to borrow $42 million to build the new facility in northern Wisconsin. The bill does not lay out an exact location and will require local government site approval. The existing facility in Irma would be converted to an adult prison. The Senate passed it last week but didn't include the local government site approval or the language converting the existing prison to an adult facility. So the Senate will have to take up the bill again to approve those changes. UW Lacrosse's School of Visual and Performing Arts is bringing back its Creative Imperatives Festival. It will happen today and tomorrow. This year's festival promises to celebrate the constantly evolving nature of art. It will feature all aspects of painting and music to writing and performance. All sessions are free and open to the public. Now there's too many to list here, so we have a link on our website with all the information that you need. And today is the final day to vote for this year's Best of Lacrosse County. Voting is still open in hundreds of categories from restaurants and shops to businesses and things to do. There are five nominees in each category. You can find all the details on this year's contest plus last year's winter winners on bestoflacrossecounty.com. It's a bit of a cloudy start this morning. Temperatures around 30 degrees at 8 to 46. Partly cloudy skies at noon today. Mostly sunny at 5 and temperatures warm to about 51 degrees. Light southwest winds 5 to 10. And don't forget to keep up with the news of the day on News8000.com. We'll have the latest updates to today's stop stories on News8 now at noon. Thanks for joining us on this Monday. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. We're sending you to CBS Mornings.